Jean Ruth graduated from Boulder State Preparatory School and attended the University of Colorado. She transferred to the University of Michigan's radio program after being told she had a voice for radio or the stage. When she returned to Colorado, she heard from friends how much soldiers at Fort Logan disliked starting their days with a bugle blast. She approached management at KFEL Radio and offered to create a painless reveille for troops stationed in Colorado. She called herself Beverly because the name sort of rhymed with Reveille. <laughs> in October 1941, Reveille with Beverly debuted on KFEL. Broadcasting from the Albany Hotel in Denver, she was one of the first female disc jockeys paid $7 weekly to do the show from 5.30 to 6.30 a.m. six days a week. Unscripted, she read highlights of letters from listeners and played the swing music of the era. Less than six weeks after the show began, things became more serious when Pearl Harbor was attacked. In January 1942, Time Magazine pictured her at the KFEL microphone and called her Don's early lightener, reporting that she was directly responsible for waking up 28,000 servicemen at three regional army posts. She flew to Hollywood in the summer of 1942 to talk to producers about a movie, Reveille with Beverly, loosely based on her story. Hi there, everybody. This is Jean Ruth, radio's Beverly at Reveille, the girl who gets the bugler up. And now I want you to meet Beverly of the movies, lovely Ann Miller, starring in Columbia's big new musical picture, Reveille with Beverly. It's in the groove, sweet and hot and jammed with jive with the greatest collection of music makers ever gathered together on the screen. She would serve as technical advisor on the film, which starred Ann Miller. Meanwhile, she moved her show to KNX Radio in Los Angeles. Throughout the remainder of World War II, she broadcast to millions of servicemen in 54 countries via Armed Forces Radio Service. Adoring servicemen named their planes, ships, and tanks for her. At the end of the war, she returned to Boulder and hosted a show on KBOL Radio. She later returned to California and hosted several TV shows and appeared in commercials. A girl has to have a few secrets from her husband. Here's one of mine, new Pillsbury Instant Mashed Potatoes. In May 2004, Jean Ruth Hay was honored by the Smithsonian Institution at the unveiling of the World War II Memorial in Washington, D.C. She died later that year at the age of 87. We honor Jean Ruth Hay, a pioneer in radio in Colorado and around the globe, and a 2014 inductee into the Broadcast Pioneers of Colorado Hall of Fame. <laughs>